Hi, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to achieve this black outline on your geometry, just like in the cell shading style. First of all, make me explain the basics of this method, the concept. Here we have a cube and as you can see it is shaded on the outside. In the attribute editor under the shape node you will find this double-sided option if we mix this option and the reverse command we have that the shaded faces are on the inside of the cube these for example could be the walls of a house. From the outside we are not seeing these black non-shaded faces and we see through these faces. This is the basic concept. This is a very simple character and I'm going to show you this method on this little guy here. So first of all I'm going to duplicate the body geometry. Isolate select to simplify all the operations. Select all the vertices and with the move tool and you can activate the move tool with the W key. Hold down the control key and drag the mid mouse button. We are now moving the vertices along their normals. So what we have here is a geometry that is identical to the original one but is a little bigger. It's fat. So now Let's reverse the, fa the faces, the normals of the faces. Disable the double-sided double -sided option. So we are not able to see the front faces. We are seeing the backward faces. Remove the shadows and assign a um, constant or flat material. Every render engine has this option or you can simply add a normal shader and disable any kind of reflection. And we can see that we have our outline. Basically, this is it. You have to repeat the, all the passages for every geometry to achieve the same result. As you can see, it's not 100% accurate because we are not having every edge, every detail like this one. But it's nice, it's simple, it's fast and Every, every render engine can handle this method. So thank you for watching, let me know if this video was helpful and let me know uh, if you're going to use this method.